Good evening. A staff review ordered amid the Families SA child abuse scandal has identified concerns with more than 100 workers previously trusted to care for vulnerable children. 25 of them now considered so questionable they've been immediately stood down. Suspected sexual abuse by a Families SA residential carer prompted a review of all the department's childcare workers. The internal order has raised serious issues and it's clear that further action is warranted. Serious enough to question the suitability of 25 staff to work with children in one-on-one -on -one care. The department has or is today in the process of directing those employees away from the workplace. Their ongoing employment will be urgently assessed. The audit was overseen by former police commissioner Mal Hyde. The records of 467 staff were reviewed by psychologists. In addition to the 25 stood down from their roles, a further 77 were deemed of high concern, warranting further assessment, which means more than one in five care workers are under a cloud. The best way to describe it is shocking. Their own review shows that they have had a casual attitude. But the government insists there's no explicit misconduct or disciplinary action. The paper exercise has not identified any concerns in relation to a propensity for sexual abuse. The public sector union says it's a further blow to the department's battered morale. There are a, a very large number of members who are quite distressed over the situation. But as to whether the government expects legal claims... Their questions were down the track, I think, Tom. No answer either on whether the carer whose arrest sparked the review would have passed the audit. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I, we would have to run that past uh, the psychologist that did that assessment. Because at the end of the day, it is of the utmost importance to look after the care of the children. And political reporter Tom Richardson joins us now. Tom, the bad news just keeps on coming. It does, Brenton, but the government is at pains to emphasise, as it has before, that it's acting in an abundance of caution. It's not clear exactly what alarm bells were rung by this review. The minister says, for instance, that minor historical criminal convictions might not necessarily preclude people from working with children. But clearly, as authorities admit, there are significant areas for improvement in their selection processes. Let's just hope this is a big step towards doing just that. Thanks, Tom.